Ben Ferguson joining us for this trip is, is pretty cool. He's known by a lot of people as a halfpipe rider. He's just come off fourth place at the Olympics in Korea. He's kind of almost more well known for how creative he is and how he finds unique ways to ride his snowboard around the mountain and make it look fun. So having somebody of Ben's calibre join us for this trip is epic. It just seems like such a great person to have on board. To get to the hut itself, you can usually only go via helicopter or by ski touring. So we got a one-time permission from the landowner to take the snowmobiles all the way in there. I was there like four or five years ago up at Rob Rosa. And so I knew that there was some like pretty cool terrain up there and I knew what kind of what the hut scenario was gonna be like. I can't stop you. Going out with Ben was sick because he's obviously done a lot of backcountry stuff. To see the lines that he likes to ride and see kind of like his eye in the backcountry is, is awesome. And I think both wanted to ride similar stuff and we both kind of like picked out cool little things to ride. I loved it out there. not that common to snowmobile in New Zealand. There aren't actually that many places that you can legitimately snowmobile. It was pretty special to have access to this zone especially and be able to lap everything on a snowmobile. We had just found the zone and at the bottom of the zone we had kind of a bit of like a snowmobile learn, you know, jump on the snowmobile, rip around type session. Browner definitely knew what he was doing pretty good. Like. He was ripping the thing. And at one point, Browner had Carlos hanging off the side. He was like doing hand drags pretty much off the side of the snowmobile. And then Carlos jumped on. You could tell it was like his first time. He was kind of like sitting back funny and like a little timid, but it was cool. He was starting to get it down. Cooking in the hut is nothing like home because you have to melt snow to get all of the water that you want to use for the cooking or all your drinking water or anything like that. Brown was on the jobs, he was on the tools, made some spaghetti bolognese, cabin classic. Yeah, we ate good out there. Almost probably got fat out there. We woke up in the morning and it was just like completely clouded in. Me and Carlos were just like whipping up food in the hut and just like eating all morning, playing dominoes a little bit. Brown and I went for a bit of a scope and sure enough, like as soon as we dipped just, just down from where the hut was, it was beautiful and sunny. There was like this one little like transition that looked like a pretty good little hip landing, turned into a little hip session and it was a pretty good time. Throwing ourselves upside down, it was just one of those sessions that wasn't on anything big or gnarly but it was just cool to have the crew together just trying new things trying to progress and make the most of, of this little jump we've built. Brown is a legend like I grew up snowboarding with him since I was a kid up at Snow Park and I crashed on his couch heaps back in the day when I was coming down here from Christchurch and dude he's insane like he can ride anything and half the stuff he rides you're like I don't even think there's a run out to that, you know? It's, it's so sick. I would always say yes to trips like this because I think I've never had a bad one. It's always a different experience and fun. That didn't go to plan. It's all super rolly, like fun terrain, and then all of a sudden there's stuff that just like sticks up. It's nice and steep. 
fun to pick lines through. Kind of turned into a wild man at the end. It's quite a lot of little drops and stuff and it was like a race to see how fast he could get to the bottom. These kind of trips, man, I just like going and seeing and doing different stuff than normal. Like anytime I get the opportunity to go on a trip, I'm pretty much gonna pull the trigger and go. Like I love just to see different new cool places and ride my snowboard. So I was super stoked to go on this trip and hang out with these dudes and get to know some of these guys. It was, it was a really fun time. <laughs> 